These are organisms that live inside plants. Yeah, they're they're actually um, they're actually species of fungi that live and grow inside of plants their whole life. They never they never grow on the ground or in soil or anything. They they grow entirely inside plants. Oh. So what we what we do is we go out and collect the plant tissue and then bring it back here into the hood and we sterilize the outside of it so we don't get any bacteria or fungi on the outside of it because what we want is on the inside of plants. Okay, so can you describe? I'm going to shoot what they're doing in here under the hood. Yeah, so what they're doing is uh, they are they're taking the, the plant tissue that we sterilized and they're plating it in uh, two different types of auger, cornmeal auger and malt extract auger, and that's stuff that fungi likes to eat. Okay. So in about three days to, anywhere from three days to about uh, two months, the fungi will grow in there and we'll be able to collect it later and do some, some more uh, molecular work on it, DNA, identify what kind of species it is, stuff like that. Wow, okay. So they live inside plants, uh, but you're able to grow them in this auger stuff. Yeah. And they're perfectly happy. Yep. And um, what sorts of, can you tell me a little bit about some of the things that live in them? You know, some of the ty different types of fungi? Um, there's a huge range of diversity that live inside these plants. So any, uh, none of them have been seen before by, by almost anyone in the world. So what we're doing is completely novel. And uh, a lot of these have uh, really important properties like uh, new medicines for biofuels, stuff like that. And we're also trying to understand just the general diversity that we, that we have inside of our plants. Uh, so this is actually a creosote we're working with. Uh, creosote is uh, known as a native plant of Arizona. The creosote? Okay, creosote. you get that chemical from that you use to yeah, preserve yeah. wood and stuff. And what's also cool about creosote, uh, during rainstorms in Arizona, you know, from the monsoons and all that, that smell you usually smell, it's like uh, very perfumey. It's uh, from the creosote bush. And, um, you know, you can go outside and be like, oh, I smell rain. But it's really not the rain, it's really the creosote. Um, but, yeah. Well, we hope from the, the creosote and all the other samples we're working with, we can find anacancerous uh, fungi, you know, novel fungi. Um, you know, there are so many applications that the fungi can be used for, but we don't know what they're used for yet.